just when he thought things couldn't get any stranger at, in the controversy at Westfield State University, well, it just got stranger. Uh, the president, the embattled president of Westfield State University, Evan Dobell, filed a federal lawsuit against the trustees of his own school and the state's top higher education official, accusing them of conspiring against him to destroy his reputation in an effort to take over Westfield State University. Why, you ask? He says they want to take his university away from him and turn it into a feeder program so that state police officers can get higher education and higher pay. That's what Evan DeBell is saying. He has been under the gun for the last three months because of reports about high spending, uh, abuse of university credit cards, uh, tr trips abroad that have questionable justification, trips to the West Coast with little justification, hundreds of thousands of dollars in business expenses that some people are questioning. And he is saying now that they're all out to get him because they really just want to dislodge him from the presidency so they can take over the school. We nearly got to the end of this controversy that has been very loud, been on our front page, has been a very big story in Massachusetts for a couple of months now. Last week, we nearly got to the end of it. The trustees at Westfield State University sat for hours with President Dobell and his attorney, hoping that they could negotiate some kind of a settlement that would end all of the ugly publicity that's come out of this thing. President Dobell said, I'll step down as president of Westfield State if you make me a tenured faculty member and you let me take an immediate sabbatical, and there were various other things, but that was the core of it. Well, the trustees, at one point, they almost said they would do it, but then they backed away. They said, we can't reward the kind of behavior that President Dobell's been engaging in. So they said no. They suspended him. They took back his university cell phone. They took back his university car. He had to call his wife to get a ride home from the trustees meeting because he didn't have a car anymore. He responded now with this federal lawsuit that he's been threatening to file. So things have just gotten messier. We've had more than two months of very nasty public fighting, and we have not seen the end of it. In fact, this could go on for some time. Scott Allen for the Boston Globe.